everybody. It is 5.30 and we call the public works meeting to order. Uh, start with roll call. Alderperson Ramey. Here. Alderperson Rust. Present. Alderperson Heidemann. Here. And I am Alderperson Decker and I am here. So we'll start <laughs> with the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, we we'll do a quick introduction of uh, I'm Dean Decker, Chair of the Committee, all the person from District 6. Uh, Joe Heidemann, District 10. Zach Russ, District 8, Vice Chair. Angela Ramey, District 5. Kevin Jump, City Engineering. Melissa Fassbender, Department of Public Works. Heather Burke, Business Manager for Public Works. Uh, David Diebel, Director of Public Works. Go ahead. Jordan Skiff with Wastewater. <laughs> Aaron Groh, <laughs> City Engineer. And Joel Colstein, DPW Street Department. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we'll go to number five, approval of minutes from February 27, 2024. I move to approve the minutes. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. That was approved. Item number six direct referral resolution number 179 2324, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Batine Peterson Construction Incorporated for the construction of the South 11th Street and Swift Avenue Street improvements. Yes, right. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to refer to Kevin Jump with engineering okay. as he's been the project manager and designer on this project. And if there's any questions, uh, maybe Kevin can just give a real brief overview of kind of the work that's going to be occurring here. Okay. So this is a 2024 identified capital improvement project to build and overlay South 11th from Indiana down to Union and then some additional work on Swift. Um, we'll be doing some storm sewer work, fixing the handicap ramps. Um, that's really the highlights, some signs. It's our typical, typical, you know, mill off a couple inches, mm -hmm. pave a couple inches. Okay, this will be the entire Swift Avenue then? It's Swift from uh, 8th to 12th, I believe. Okay, 8th to 12th. Time frame on this. So we're anticipating this will start in June. Okay. And be wrapped up, uh, I believe, by the end of August, beginning of September. But the water utility is going to be in there ahead of us on South 11th. So we have to wait for them to complete their work. Okay. And uh, as far as the, the Liars Club, they're, they're, they're all aware of it. So that they're Prepared for their, <laughs> that's the only thing that I can see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be notifying everyone okay. prior to construction. Okay. We'll take care. What we found lately works best is door hangers, just I'll put letters on doors. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> is this a part of the complete streets? Yes. It is. Okay. So is it widening the street or how is that? So the complete streets component would essentially is the handicap ramps. Gotcha. We're not doing any bump outs or anything like that. Cool. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. These streets are in bad repair. I, um, I go down Swift all the time now. And it's just unbelievable. Uh, I'm glad to see we're getting to that. What about what the, um, the utilities, or the water utilities are doing? Is that going to slow us up or is that going to? They will be done by the end of May. Oh, they will. Okay. So we, we've kind of scheduled our work to start after the water utility is gotcha. done. Okay, good deal. Okay. Is there any other utility work like gas or? Gas did all their work last year. Okay. And other than some storm sewer work, okay. that's it. Question, go ahead. Um, we live on Dillingham. Um, I saw in the waterworks, there's talk about that lead um, service fund, but I, make it to that meeting or do you know about that um can you tell us about what's going on with that that'll be replacing your lead water service from the water main in the road to your house replacing the meter okay yeah did, i didn't see like when that was happening. that i believe that's going to happen 
in the fall. <laughs> but I'd have to, <clears throat> you'd have to check with the water utility for sure. Okay, yeah, I saw that we were supposed to get a mailer, but we haven't gotten any details other than, oh, it's happening. Yeah. Um, and then if I could, um, choose, um, yeah, we live right next to Swift, so we walk around there quite a bit. Um, I guess in, in the future, uh, when other streets are being marked on, it sounds like this one's already, plan's pretty much done. Um, how can the public provide input onto like future street plans? Well, you can always reach out to us, look at the, I mean, if you look on the capital improvement plan, it's online. I think in the future, we are gonna start, as part of the complete streets, reaching out a year or so in advance asking for some input. Okay, great. Can I follow up on that and ask kind of like what kind of what kind of input would you would you love if we can go back in time, like what kind of input what have you given? What what are you um well uh you guys did some work on Broadway last year and uh there's like one pedestrian bump out and that is great like for crossing that spot. But as a driver going down Broadway, that one bump out the uh, um, stop sign is like right there, so it's great. But then the next ones are like so far away in comparison. Mm -hmm. I almost ran through that stop sign like when I wasn't really paying attention just because it was so much further away. So personally, if you like, I'd like to see those bump outs used more consistently, just so that it's like that stop sign is at a consistent distance for drivers, so that you know they don't run a stop sign after they maybe were used to them being closer in. So yeah, those bump outs are great. I, I love seeing that. I love seeing um, what's done over by the Y with that raised crosswalk. I know that's not practical everywhere, but yeah. it certainly seems like it's really easy to cross there as a pedestrian, whereas mm -hmm. other places it feels like cars don't slow down as much for you and you kind of have to either chance it or <laughs> like, wait a long time yeah. for an opportunity. And then obviously we've, uh, we're biking here, so mm -hmm. I'd love to see more bike lanes, but I know that's not practical everywhere. Um, personally, the Sharrows seem like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like with the Sharrows being on the road, cars really care much, mm -hmm. but um, in the few places that there are um, bike lanes, those feel nice. And then um, the work that was done in Indiana was really good, where there's that bike path mm -hmm. yeah. really well. Uh, we've done, we bike down there a couple times and that's wonderful. So in general, like those are the things yeah. that I'm thinking about. Um, I would love to see plans um, and just like sort of be able to provide that input, but I'm just starting to learn about what's going on with the city and what all the processes are for the meetings and stuff. So Dr. Beeble, as a just, as someone now, I'm, I'm part of the system, so I kind of am, am involved, but if I was, a, you know, an, an active part of the community who really wanted to kind of learn more and, and have input, what would you suggest for somebody? Well, we, we, we've started with, with our Complete Streets Please. program. We started getting kind of a, I don't know what you call it, a mail list? Newsletter. A newsletter, sorry. <laughs> that is started on kind of this philosophy and, and getting more, you know, pushing out information back and forth and getting feedback. And I think Kevin's right. A lot of this is we, we, we need to get ahead. And right now we're, we're, we're like, get, got these projects finally out to bid. And then we, we really should be already planning for not even next year, but the year beyond. That would give us time then to actually do more due diligence with the neighborhoods. And so we're, we're implementing kind of the things that we see professionally but yet it's still not as inclusive as we would like it to be. So it, it's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if you'd really like to participate, Heather's got a great, it's part of Sheboygan Active Transportation, Complete Streets, and there's a, a lot of good information on there. And um, yeah, and then, and then great, there's like things like this. We want the feedback and then we can also then provide, you know, this is why we don't use it in all the locations and this is why it's good in this location and we can have that kind of dialogue and information, education back and forth. And, you know, the more we can have an informed community, the better for everybody. That means included motorists and bicyclists and pedestrians and those that use transit. 
um, we're all using the same infrastructure, so we have to be aware of all everybody in this area. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, thank you for your input. We appreciate it. Okay. Any other questions? Concerns? I guess I would be looking for a motion then. I move to approve the resolution. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Next meeting date is March 26, 2024. Um, we're looking for a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.